Laurel was born Arthur Stanley Jefferson on the 16th of June 1890 at 3 Argyle Street in Ulverston, which was then in Lancashire. He was the second of four children to Arthur, A.J., and Margaret, Madge Jefferson. His mother, who was also born in Ulverston, was an actress and talented stage designer who used the stage name Madge Metcalf. A.J. was an actor, playwright and impresario and travelled around the north of England managing different theatres. One day, while Madge was singing with a choir, she was spotted by A.J., who at the time was working at the Gaff, a theatre in Ulverston. Without having met her, he told his friends that he would marry her. And sure enough, on March the 19th, 1884, he and Madge got married, and Madge soon adapted her talents to appear in many of her husband's plays. A.J.'s line of work meant that they never stayed in one place for long, and at the time Stan was born, they were living at number 66, Prince's Street in Bishop Auckland in County Durham, where A.J. was managing the town's Theatre Royal, later to be renamed the Eden Theatre, which he took over the previous year. When Madge was due to give birth, she returned to Ulverston to have the baby, whom she named Arthur Stanley. Stan was a sickly child and was baptised quickly for fear he would die. When Madge returned to Bishop Auckland to continue her career, Stan was left in Ulverston to be looked after by his grandparents, Sarah and George Metcalf. When Stan was 14 months old, he was well enough to be brought to Bishop Auckland to be baptised a second time at St Peter's Church, just up the road from where his parents lived before returning to Ulverston. It is quite possible that due to his early illness, Stan remained with his grandparents while the rest of the family moved on. He spent much of his early years living in Ulverston, although he did visit his parents in Bishop Auckland to attend the christening of his sister Beatrice Olga, who was born in December 1894 at South View in Waldron Street. It was at the same time that Stan was received into the church, before going back to Ulverston with his grandparents. The Metcalfs were not a wealthy family, and the house was frequently full of children, but Stan always remembered it as a happy home. However, if things ever got out of hand, he and the rest of his cousins were threatened with the wash house by his granddad as punishment, which meant that they would sit in the dark wash house at the back until they learned to behave. Stan, who was full of boyish mischief, was the most frequent visitor there. Later on, his cousin Mary, who often wondered why he didn't mind being sent to the wash house while the others hated it, discovered that stashed away in the darkness were matches and comics. A perfect excuse for Stan to catch up on his reading. Through frequent shopping trips with his grandma, Stan became fascinated by the big plate glass windows on some of the shops. He would gaze into them, making funny faces. Sometimes his grandma would quite often find that she had left him behind as she walked on. Who knows Stan's famous crybaby face could have made its debut there. <laughs> 